What's up, everybody? Mike Wienemach here. Today's topic is 10 things that I've never done to lose body fat. This is five pounds of fat, by the way. So next time you think, oh, I only lost five pounds, you did a lot. So in no particular order, I have never done a cleanse for fat loss. Why? Because it's just plain stupid. People do cleanses for two reasons. One, to detox. Unless you give up on your kidneys, your liver, and your gallbladder, your body can detox just fine. Number two, fat loss. So people drink juices for a week. What happens is they lose a bunch of muscle, they come back from the cleanse and they're like, oh, I earned this. The body, meanwhile, is in prime fat storing mode because you haven't eaten for so long. Whatever comes in, it will store. Cleanses, don't do that. Number two, never done intermittent fasting. Not that it's wrong per se, like any calorie reduction works, but it's too cultish for my taste. It's hard to spread the protein. And this idea of eat only in that window just doesn't make any sense. So. If intermittent fasting helps you to reduce your calories, that's fine, but it doesn't have any magical growth hormone output over the features, that's just not the case. Number three, I never pushed a sled or did any type of stupid high intensity sources. Pushing a sled, flipping tires and all that stuff may look cool, but it's dangerous. It's hard on the central nervous system and drum roll. High intensity cardio and low intensity cardio pretty much burn the same calories. The afterburn effect is a urban legend. There's really no difference to it. So the best cardio is the one you do. And for me, that's just taking the bike over the bridge into the city. That's my commute. Never push the sled. And so I got plenty lean. I never went keto. Keto may work, but carbohydrates do two things really well. Recovery and performance. So for people that train, going completely without carbs is just not a good idea. Remember all the Mr. Olympias that went keto? Me neither. Never happened. Keto is too cultish unless you have epilepsy in which case you might help with the brain waves. Otherwise, it's just not a good idea to cut out carbs completely. Now, a heavier person might need fewer than somebody who has a lot of muscle mass and trains a lot, but to say like, oh, this one group of macronutrients is never gonna be touched again, it's just too cold for me and it's just too stupid. Um, number five in that line, I've never avoided bread or any other food per se, because that makes you gain weight. Bread is a carb, potatoes are a carb, Things are just macros, right? You can bake them into your daily allowance and you'll be just fine. So like one of the reasons I never went to keto or stick to bread is because I'm German. And the idea of an existence without pasta and bread seems very dreadful to me. It's not something I want to do. I've also never changed my workout for a fat burning routine because there's no such thing. But here's a big secret. When you're training, the job of training, when you're training for fat loss, is to not to burn calories, but to keep the muscle on. So tension is the key. Now, in a circuit, you're basically doing cardio with weights, which is not really cardio, it's not really routine either. You can't create tension in a muscle because you're constantly switching it up. So thereby, you're setting yourself up for less tension, more muscle loss, and a potential of injury. So don't do that. There are no fat-burning exercises. Your fat cells don't have eyes. They don't say like, oh, we did pet flies, now we're out of here. No, it doesn't work. There's only caloric deficit. I've never done boxing either. It goes in the same realm of like, that they're, oh, this fighter is really lean, henceforth boxing must get me lean. It's like, no, this guy just trained a lot. He ate in a deficit. That's how he turned out for his sport. There are more people than I care to count that I know that ruined their elbows on the heavy bag just because I thought this would get them diced quickly. Don't do that. I've also never worn one of these idiotic belts for the abs that's squeezing the fat away by electricity. They seem to make a renaissance like every 10 years or so. When will people learn? It doesn't work. Electrostim will not magically break open your fat cells and flush out the free fatty acids. It's just not gonna work. On that note, I also never wrapped myself in a garbage bag and went to cardio. In fact, many, many moons ago, I was working in a gym and it was July 4th and this guy's trying to get ready for his party and he runs in a garbage bag. He collapses, he's so dehydrated. He almost didn't make it. That's Fighters do that to make weight and that's a very unhealthy and dangerous thing to do but there's no extra fat loss only because you're sweating a lot. Because bad logic could just be sitting in the sauna and get diced. And lastly, I never ate a blood type diet. And that always struck me as really stupid. So you have the different blood types, right? But then you have people like, let's say, AB or whatever, living in Asia. And they have access to rice and that's what they're eating. Then you have the same blood group that lives in, I don't know, Poland. And they only have access to potatoes. So which group is now screwed? They can't eat the same foods because obviously you have to they must eat the same foods i'm sorry because they have the same blood type but unfortunately the globe and the vegetation doesn't agree with that now what total hocus pocus trying to get lean three things matter calorie deficit your macros 
and your weight train to keep the muscle on. A little bit cardio to stay healthy and that's it. All the other stuff, do not fall for the crap, my God. 